G'day, James Cullen from Stones Corner Marine, uh, and today I just want to run through the uh, installation of a Railblazer uh, rod holder apparatus and the Starport system. Uh, and I'm going to do that to my very own uh, CJ 3.5 Nomad. Now, my CJ 3.5 Nomad was custom built for me 15 years ago by the CJ factory uh, as a purpose built uh, lure fishing boat uh, where I fish the tight water, uh, and it served a great purpose for that. Uh, my son's now nine years old uh, and we're looking for a small boat in which we can poke out to the sheltered parts of the bay or, or river mounds and, and hopefully chase a uh, brim or squire. Um, with that in mind, um, I'm looking for a rod holder that enables my rods to be placed in a holder uh, and enable those tips to be at a low angle uh, where I can set the, the bait runner uh, in mode and uh, hope to pick up a few fish. Um, now, anyone who knows me, my CJ350 Nomad uh, it's very important to me, I'm very proud of that boat and it served me very well and I wouldn't fit a, a poor quality uh, item to it. I've done my research, we sell Railblazer, I've used it on larger boats, I've used it on other boats, I've used it on a lot of customer boats uh, and I'm very happy with the product and its quality. It's got a lot of strength built in, a lot of reinforcing um, and the Starport system enables me to fit other devices or other apparatus into it um, if I need. Uh, there are items such as um, removable nav light systems, which I may also consider for this small boat. Um, there's cleats, there's um, poles for uh, action cameras. Um, but today, it's about the rod holder, and I'm just gonna run through not only the rod holder, but also the mounting system. So I'm just gonna grab that mounting system. The mounting system is called a Starport, and they, and they come in a packet. The most economical way to buy it is in, in the packet with two. It comes as a pair. Um, these star ports come standard as surface mount and also flush mount. Uh, for this boat, I've chosen to just surface mount. I've got the white side X there. I'm just gonna surface mount them over some previous scars on the boat from uh, other displays I've had in, on the boat previously. I'm just gonna open this package and show you what's inside. It's also um, um, uh, worth considering when buying a, a product. First off, when you open up this packet, uh, obviously you get the, the two star ports. So you get a complete unit, which is composed of three, three pieces. I'll go through that with you in a minute. Um, you obviously get the second star port, three piece unit. And what I noticed straight away with this packaging um, is not only do you get the product, you actually get the mounting solutions, which come in the form of screw, but also nut and bolt. They're a high quality stainless steel product. Um, it's too often that you buy a product and you get home to fit it, and you find out that the mounting hardware was not supplied. Uh, it's a real pizzer on weekends, but I can assure that Railblazer, with their products, provide all mounting hardware, whether it be screw or nut and bolt. Uh, for what I've done today, I've chosen uh, the screw method. I certainly do what I need it to do. Also, I noticed in there, before we throw away the packaging, uh, a lot of blokes have the tendency to open something out, throw the packaging. Um, what I noticed in here, which is very useful, in the packaging is not only a drill template for both flush mount and also surface mount systems, there's also a very clear diagram um, for the recessed or surface mount uh, componentry. Uh, there's also a QR code uh, if you want to watch a video in regards to the Railblazer product. Um, it's certainly really handy when a manufacturer provides you this information. Uh, it makes it um, a little bit easier and gives uh, the person installing it a little bit more confidence if they're not um, regular on the tools. Talking about the tools, um, I've simply used today, I've used a centre punch. That centre punch was simply used to um, um, identify the centre of the holes uh, in the system. Um, I've also used a drill. It was very handy when picking the right drill size. I looked here today and for the self tapper it says I need to use a 3.5 mil drill bit. Uh, very easy when the decisions are made for me and it tells me what to do. Used a vacuum cleaner, obviously for the swarf. I needed a, uh, a large Phillips head bit to, to, to secure that screw. And I've also, uh, to protect my paint, uh, used the Tef Gel separating compound. I was very liberal with that, not only on the thread, but also on the, on the hole that I drilled. In regards to the Starport system, uh, as I said, it's a three-part system. Um, there's the gasket here, which enables it to close to reduce water ingress. You've also got the lock, lock and unlock tab, which locates and secures the apparatus into the Starport. 
and the bottom piece is the spacer. So the space is used for surface mount. Otherwise you can choose to recess if you don't want to use this. Okay, so here's one I prepared probably 10 minutes ago. I've uh, mounted that star port using the screws. I, I found my keel line, worked out where perpendicular was, drilled the holes, mounted it uh, with the TEF gel as discussed. Um, now this unit here, you see I've got the gasket fitted here. This simply lifts up and opens and exposes the star port. I press unlock to unlock the star port, which that then provides uh, the location of the star locator into the star port and I can choose whichever angle I wish. I can have it parallel to the keel, I can have it perpendicular, or I can have it at a 45. Uh, basically to locate that in, push in firmly, press the lock um, button, and all of a sudden that apparatus is in and it's solid. Um, in regards to uh, repositioning, simply unlock, lift out, relocate, lock and then the next thing that I'm impressed with is with this rod holder is the ease of changing angle you can back the, the screw off here locate at different angles that's probably a height that I may travel um, with the uh, rods in uh, but when it comes to fishing I'll certainly have it with the um, the low rod tip uh, I'd also do that if I had the rods perpendicular to the boat with low tips on a troll in regards to locating the rods, I'll just take you around to the other side of the boat. I have a rod holder already positioned. I've dropped me rod before. Rod here, nice long butt. Locates nice into the holder. We have the um, over, over rod secure. And we also have um, a butt end if you're using short butts. Um, basically that rod now will keep my tips low. Certainly good for the, the squire or the brim. I'd set it into uh, bait runner mode and, and Bob's your uncle, we're fishing. As I said, the, the Railblazer product is a quality product. I certainly um, feel comfortable using it and, and putting rods in. Um, I also look forward to being able to fit other things to this little boat, uh, which may include uh, navigation lights uh, or action camera. The Railblazer product is available in store at Stones Corner Marine, uh, but you can check out some of the products online at www stonescornermarine.com.au um, or please feel call, uh, please feel free to ring either myself James or one of my boys Sean or David uh, to have a chat about the Railblazer product we have in stock uh, or that we can order in for you. Uh, it truly is a great product. I wouldn't be fitting it to my own boat if I wasn't happy with the quality uh, and I'm sure it's going to give me plenty plenty of years service on my favourite little 3.5 Nomad. Thanks for watching this video uh, and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.